DIY filmmaking. It used to be a big trend, you know, you would see every YouTuber smear Vaseline under a lens, but I haven't seen such things for a while. Probably because it's stupid. But, I don't know, I, I think that it's creative. You know, the other day I was setting up lights in the studio and I took out a couple of cardboards that we actually use very often. And that got me thinking, like, cardboard is actually very useful and for which other purposes could we use cardboard for? But first, last week I asked you guys that if you could cheat in After Effects, what would you do? Well, this comment from Clayton was pretty clever and therefore wins a copy of our Adobe After Effects course. Congratulations, man. Now, let's start off with hack number one, a camera slider. Cut out a long piece of cardboard and a smaller piece that fits in that large piece. Next, cut out two long strokes that have the same length as your long cardboard piece. And take some gaff tape and tape it to the long piece, but make sure that the smaller cardboard fits within. Then put your camera on it and pull on the top cardboard, which will glide the camera pretty good and stay fixed. Bang! A camera slider. Hack number two. Place your lens on a piece of cardboard and draw a circle. Then cut out that circle and when you're done with that, also cut out around that until you get a donut shape. Now on this donut you want to add some plastic tape and then put it over your lens. Finally take a small piece of tape and pinch it together like this, which you need to stick on your focus ring. Right now take a water marker and mark your focus points on your carton disc. A great way to mark your focus points and get a perfect focus pull. Because of the plastic tape and the water marker, you can always rub it off and draw new focus points. And this is fun, guys. You see, DIY filmmaking should come back. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Hack number three, something super simple. Take two rectangle cardboards and push a hole in both of them. Ideally, you want to have one hole sit a little bit higher than the other. Next, take a shotgun mic and fumble it through the two holes. And bada bim, bada bang, a microphone stand. This is actually great when you don't have a dedicated sound guy. You know, you can tuck away your microphone behind some objects close to the talent. We are on fire, guys. Hack number four. It's stupid, but so useful. Cut out a long sleeve of carton and fold it around three sides of the display of your camera. Then cut off the rest. Then cut out a new piece of carton that has the same size as the side of your LCD opposite to where it flips out. Tape that to your previous creation so that you get a box. Again, fold this around your display and wrap this part around it. Tighten it well and tape the two sides together. And bang, a sun hood for your camera LCD that you can take off and on, or on and off. Sponsor break. Open up your carton laptop and go to storyblocks.com slash cinecom where you'll find a community driven library filled with video assets such as 4K stock clips and various styles. There are even VR clips like this tunnel if you want to hypnotize someone. Or tons of animated backgrounds and 3D visuals. But what I like the most are the After Effects templates. Simply download an animation that you like and swap it with your own logo or text. With an active subscription, you can download unlimited video assets without extra fees. So definitely make sure to check it out by clicking that first link in the description down below. Mambo number five, I mean hack number five. This time take a shoebox and poke a hole in the back through which you want to fit a flashlight or any other small LED lights. On the inside you cover the sides with aluminum foil which is going to reflect the light. As for the opening, cover that up with a piece of paper or some kind of soft fabric that lets through plenty of light. And boom! A portable softbox. And of course you can create this for any type of light. Just make sure that you're always working with LED as you don't want your shoebox to catch fire. Now that reminds me, do you know how you can let a cat bark like a dog? Well, you first throw gasoline over it and then put it on fire. Boof! <laughs> don't do that guys. Seriously, don't do that. It was just a joke. Next up we got the Kukalurus, which we already covered on the channel, but I wanted to include it again for those who don't know about it yet. Basically, you just cut out the shape of a window or lines which represents blinds. Casting a light through it will create such a shadow, which is very recognizable. We actually use this very often here. Now you can create any kind of shape, like the leaf of trees, maybe a person that is standing still. Great for a scary movie. 
or a propeller, which you often see in those noir films. Hack number six, we're gonna continue with the cook lures, but this time use it for in front of our lens, like the famous, someone is looking through a keyhole. Actually filming that is quite tricky, so you just cut out the shape of a keyhole in a cardboard and place that in front of your lens. Or you need some kind of a foreground, any shape you like to make your shots more interesting. Hack number, what are we at, seven? Okay, this one is gonna be dangerous. Ideally, you want to use a small and a very sturdy camera like a GoPro. Take some foam that you want to wrap around the GoPro so that it is protected when you're going to throw it in the air. That's right, we're going to throw the camera. Next, take a cardboard, of course, and cut out a rocket tailed shape. You want to have two of these and connect them together. Then find a way to attach your rocket tail to the foam cage. And now you can go ahead and throw your camera in the sky. And this is pretty cool if you like to make a POV shot of a baseball getting hit. The rocket tail will make sure that the camera is always pointed forwards. And that brings us to the last one, which looks stupid like everything else we just made, but it's actually super useful. Like we have this LED panel, which we always have trouble with to get filters around. So what I do is cut out two rectangle frames that fit within the LED panel. In between, I tape a filter, which I can now simply push within the LED panel. Look at that, a clean filter, which covers up the LED panel nicely. And of course, with some creativity, you can create such filters for any type of lights. And those were my nine cardboard hacks for filmmaking. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support, and as always, stay creative. Hello, this is my good friend Janik. I was, I was doing, uh, friend Janik. Your hands are very sweaty. No it's not. You can't even feel my hands, because I've got my hand on your shirt. Yeah, my Look how dry ah. they are, look how dry they are. Look how dry my hands are. <laughs>